Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven here. So I was actually going to upload a different video today, but what I said about Ian in my most recent video, it just kind of inspired me to do this one instead. So basically, I just wanted to do a short little video that's just my opinion on Ian's character. Feel free to share your opinion of him in the comments down below. However, and I mean this is a very big however, please be mindful of others' opinions. I have no problem with you disagreeing with my opinion and even hating my opinion. I honestly don't really care that much. Like, you, you have your opinion. Like, that's great. That's wonderful. But the moment you start being mean and or hateful to my subscriber family, I will release my inner hulk and block your ass in a matter of five seconds. Okay? Okay. Now that we're on the same page, let's get into the video. So, let's talk about Ian, since that's the reason why you're watching this video. Ian was first introduced to us in the second season of Phoenix Drop High as a mysterious troublemaker werewolf dude. We were falsely led to believe throughout the season that Ian was a sweet, misunderstood soul when he's actually a cruel, sinister, power-hungry, obsessive bastard. To be completely honest, the moment we saw Ian in the Emerald Secret, but as a shadowy wolf outline, my head already knew it was him, but my heart just didn't want to believe it. Also, I kept bouncing around between it being Ian or Kai, since I remembered Aphmau and Sylvana's conversation about Aph's ex-boyfriend in one of the recent seasons of My Street. I really can't remember which one, if it was... I want to say it was three? I'm pretty sure. I feel like it had to have been three. Anyway... When Ian truly revealed himself in The Emerald Secret, though, my heart dropped because, as I said before, I just didn't want my theory to be true. This is the one time, the one time I didn't want to be right. I was utterly heartbroken and emotionally scarred after learning Ian's real personality and motives. But after a lot of deep thinking and, potter, pon, and pondering... <laughs> I have reached a conclusion. I hate Ian, but I also don't hate Ian. I know that sounds kind of weird, but it's true. I get a love-hate feeling when it comes to Ian. I hate Ian's character because of what he's done to Aphmau, Aaron, Zane, Lucinda, the fact that he couldn't just accept Aphmau for who she is, the fact that he slapped her. Damn, the list is actually a tad bit longer than I realized. But I love Ian's existence because of just how amazing of a villain he is, a sinister villain that is well-crafted makes your blood genuinely boil. They make you want to chuck a chair out the window, along with a table and maybe a lamp or two. So you can hate Ian all you want, but at the end of the day, he brought so much tension and flavor to my street in Phoenix Drop High that wouldn't have happened otherwise. So yeah, that is how I feel about Ian's character. Again, as I said in the intro, let me know down below in the comments your opinions of Ian and feel free to use as much caps lock screaming as you want as long as, not, as it's not directed at somebody whose opinion you don't agree with. Unless it's mine. You can scream at me all you want, but you, the, the moment you start targeting other people that have nothing to do with this, that's when I get pissed, that's when I get mad, and that's when I, I, I release my inner hulk. So, uh, yeah, anyways, that's all I have for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.